Good evening and welcome to the Board of Selectmen's meeting for Monday, October 5th, 2015. Um, need to start by asking everybody for please a moment of silence on Saturday night. We lost Jack Burns, uh, educator, um, Arlington uh, family man, uh, and a vital member of the, the Selectones. Um, he was the assistant director of the Selectones and one of the very first members uh, we have recordings out there, and you could hear Jack's voice on those recordings, but uh, it's a terrible loss. The wake will be Wednesday, 4 to 8 at Keefe, and a funeral mass on Thursday morning at St. Agnes. Moment of silence, please. May God bless you and his family. Uh, first item on the agenda, consent agenda, minutes of the meeting for August 17th and September 21st. We have to separate that vote. So first, uh, the minutes of the meeting for God the 17th, and then approval. we'll come back. Uh, Second. Move All right, on that one item, move approval. Second. <coughs> Excuse uh, me. Second. Discussion? Sorry. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed. And next for the meeting of September 21st. Move approval. Is there a second? Second. Discussion? All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Uh, and I abstain. Um, I'm sorry I was out of town. I understand it was a rough meeting without the chairman. Is that true, uh, <laughs> Assistant Chairman there? I wouldn't quite put it that way. <laughs> the rest of the But we now, missed you terribly. So the consent agenda for a request for a special one-day beer and wine license Regent Theater from Monty Python and the Holy Grail 40th anniversary screening on October 14th. Another request for special one-day beer and wine license for October 15th for the Regent Theater for Real Rock 10 Film Tour. Another special one-day beer and wine license for 1020 at the Robbins Memorial Town Hall Auditorium for a taste of Arlington. Uh, five, a request for special one-day beer and wine license 1024 at the Robbins Memorial Town Hall Auditorium for a private wedding. And six, a request permit for Veterans Day Parade, Wednesday, November 11th. Uh, Jeffrey Chung Lo, <coughs> Director of Veterans Services. Anybody here wishing to speak or give a commercial on any of those items? Is there a motion? Motion. I have a question to actually. Okay. Um, but you move approval. For I, I certainly do move approval. Thank you, sir. Um, and I, I've spoke briefly with Doug about this in. Uh, the past, but now that we're seeing a, a sheet from the Regent on this, yeah. and after passing, you know, at our last meeting of li alcohol license for the theater, I'm wondering if there is a, you know, coordination between the theater and these events if we still have to continue to pass one every single time. Once they get the liquor license, we won't have to do this. Okay. But we're waiting for ABC to come the, back with their license. They've applied for full. So moved and seconded for the discussion. All those in favor of all those items, please comment by, uh, please uh, uh, vote Next. by saying aye. 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 All those. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I won't do it again. I won't do it. See, I missed one meeting. <laughs> I'm all thrown off. Psyching you up. So appointments to the Board of Youth Services, uh, Michael Gins and Justine Block, and Hannah Simon. Are they with us here tonight? Okay, would you please come to the microphone for your grilling? <laughs> <laughs> Don't all rush up at once. One at a time is fine. So this would be Michael. Correct. Thank you very much for your willingness to serve. Why are you willing to serve, Michael? Well, uh, thank you for having me here and uh, for the appointment. Um, I'm looking forward to helping the board with what they already do in, in terms of uh, helping the town and, the, and the, the kids and the families in the community that need the services at the Youth Counseling Center. And my experience, I hope, uh, will help that. So I'm looking forward to it. Thank you very much. Questions from the board? Move Comments? Approval. Move approval? And, um, I just second. Want to say second. thank you for um, your vast experience that you've provided to us, including I think you're involved with the Arlington Youth Lacrosse League. Correct. Yeah. That's very important. Yeah, that's it's very important. Later things. Um, and, and this is really, uh, I really do appreciate, as we all, all say over and over again, the volunteerism of the Arlington citizens that we have here. Um, we get a wealth of experience and, and credentials that we really couldn't afford <laughs> probably to pay for. Um, and I, I do appreciate on, on top of everything else that you have with your family and commitments and others that 
um, you're giving back this way. And um, I know this is a very vital committee, and you'll be a great addition. So thank you so much for doing this. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. On the motion by uh, Ms. Mahan, seconded. Uh, uh, you, you seconded it, Joe. Yeah. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. All those opposed. Again, thank you for your service. Thank you. Um, Justine, next. <laughs> yes. Yes, you can just say ditto. And ditto. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Any questions from the board? Yeah. yeah. I can really actually. I, I'm very. <laughs> thank you, you for stay. having me here. I just want to say thank you for having me here. I'm really excited to serve. Um, I've been involved in lots of different ways um, through the community, but also with um, AYCC. So I'm very excited to continue to be a part of it in a different way and I've done fundraisers for them and I've I'm a social worker by training so I'm very excited to be a part of this organization it's a wonderful place so that's it and we're excited to have you as thank part you. of it thank you so much um, motion um, move approval and I, I just want to say thank you and I am a really impressed by your background as a social worker um, years ago I worked and then DSS and others. But I'm also really buoyed by the fact that um, I think you're a librarian at, at the Bishop School. And I think one of the really vital um, integral parts in terms of connecting with the youth of Arlington is sort of um, getting your face out there and having your finger on the pulse. I, I, to a lesser degree as a coach, as well as some of my colleagues probably have done, um, find that you know having that experience sort of gives me a little inroad to it. So um, I, I think that's a real a positive plus for you, as well as you can help mold these kids from the beginning and and then if and when they're in crisis or when they're um, looking for some help in terms of careers or something else um, you, you'll certainly be the person with the most aptitude to do that so I want to thank you again as I said before to Mr. Gins um, for um, coming forth and agreeing to do this as a volunteer thank you it's my pleasure so thank you very much well, is there a second yes, all those in favor please signify by saying aye aye, aye. all those opposed Thank you very much. And Hannah. Who? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ms. Simon. So another social worker. Uh, I've always been very impressed with AYCC, and I think it'll be uh, very interesting to be on the board, and I'm looking forward to it. Thank you so much for your willingness to serve. Move approval. Move approval. Second. Second. And a question. Ooh, a grilling joke. Uh, grilling. <laughs> no, I've, I've known Hannah for a number of years, and, and the other two um, new appointees are also known to me. And I, I, I just am very thankful. All of you have strong um, human services records, and I think that's so important for this, this, um, this board. I think in the human services realm, I think what we do over at AYCC really stands out and sets us apart from other towns. You know, providing that type of support to families and to children, um, regardless of financial, um, you know, ability to, to pay is so uh, important. We always seem to attract great people to the uh, Board of Youth Services, too. It's so um, important. And I, I hope, um, I, I think it's appropriate also to give a plug to, um, for October 23rd, I know at the town hall, and I don't remember the start time, I don't know if somebody else does, Seven o'clock. It's the night on the town that support helps to support AYCC, and it's uh, the, the major fundraising event because the um, uh, counseling center is kept afloat in part uh, through uh, private um, fundraising activities. And I, I know that you'll all be helping out with that as well. So thank you very much, all of you, for stepping up for this. Thank you. And you seconded Mr. Burns' motion. I second. Okay. Uh, further discussion? <clears throat> all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed? Uh, it, all votes are unanimous. You know, we have more than, we have a hundred committees and commissions in Arlington, almost all staffed by volunteers. You are clearly the lifeblood of this town, as is Mr. John Pickle up for the Open Space Committee. John? <clears throat> Welcome, sir. Thank you. Uh, I went, I'd like to, what are synergistic activities? Oh, Lord. Uh, I used to be a scientist, and <laughs> to uh, get people involved, you have to actually get them out in the green spaces you know, before they see. So that's a synergy, I and mean, if you see it, you can start to understand it. So that's what, that's, uh, and I teach now, and it's about science, but it's also getting their hands wet, sometimes literally, uh, <laughs> to really engage in the process of science while get, being out, so outdoors. 
Uh, anything else you want to say about the Open Space Committee? Thank you. Well, I've got this. Uh, I've, I've attended two meetings. Uh, fabulous group. Uh, got to help with the town booth uh, you know, during town, town day. Fabulous uh, interest in what's going on, too. So yeah. it's exciting. Fantastic. Thank you. Is there a motion? Move, Move approval. Move approval. Second. Discussion? Grilling? Yeah, ooh, grilling. Here we go. No, no, not grilling. First of all, I'm really impressed by your resume, your curriculum vitae. Um, that you have provided to us, as well as um, I believe you're a teacher in, yes. in Concord. Concord again. Yeah. I can't thank you enough for doing that um, mm -hmm. because uh, I have a very tertiary role with dealing with some of the youth uh, here in Arlington. Mm -hmm. So um, I know what an impact that you make on them. I also saw that you had some, and I'm not going to say this right because I totally don't understand it, but um, cloud based uh, experience around. TV networking, did I read that correctly? There was something in there about NSF cloud and cloud-based um, experience. Oh, oh, that's coming out right now, yes. I'm on, I'm on the board of that project. Uh, um, yeah, it's a, p a public TV yes, that's uh, to also get youth involved uh, and, and build communities around it, so yes. Oh, okay. that's, that's just hot off the press. It's just uh, the website's going live this week. Oh, I, I, when I saw that, I was like, that's really exciting. I know nothing about it. I, had, you know, reach to try to understand it. I saw a lot of MIT references, which my colleague, MIT alum, Mr. Dunn, I know certainly does appreciate. But um, mm -hmm. again, I'm just so impressed and, and grateful um, that on top of everything else that you're doing and your family commitments that you're committing yourself to this, and I know your, your varied expertise um, on this committee, I really feel like you're going to bring some sort of um, not only stability, but some uh, new ways and creative ways of possibly um, adding to what this committee can do in terms of reporting back um, mm -hmm. to the citizens as well as to all the different, as Mr. Greerly, the chairman referenced, all the over 100 commissions and boards and committees that we have here in town. So we're really lucky to have you. And I, on I'm behalf of the board, thank you most sincerely. Thank you so much. Anything else? On the motion, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed. Thank you very much, thank sir. You. Thank, thank you. you. And appointments to the Master Plan Implementation Committee. Charles Kalauskas, was I warm, I hope, and Ralph Wilmer. Mr. Kalauskas, close? That's correct. You hit it. Whoa. Yes. Whoa. Um, yeah, thank you, sir, for your willingness to, uh, have you been involved with the uh, Master Plan already? Yes, for yeah. the last two and a half years I served as co-chair, first right. with Mr. Byrne as the Selectman Advisory and then with Mr. Carl. So you should do the grilling then, Mr. Byrne. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I don't obviously have any grilling, but I, I think it's really important that um, Mr. Klauskas, who was the co-chair, is kind of guiding the implementation. And I think that there's a, the connection there of uh, kind of seeing all the work that went into it is, uh, will be vital as we move forward and uh, start acting on some of the great recommendations in there. So thank you very much. Well, thank yeah. you. Uh, for you, Mr. Burns certainly kept us updated on this all along with the And process. I will move approval. Second. Further discussion? All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Thank you already for your service and the service you're going to continue to provide, sir. Well, thank, thank you, you for the vote much. of confidence. Thank you. And Mr. Wilmer. Good evening. Good evening, Good evening. sir. Uh, Ralph Wilmer. I'm a principal planner at MAPC, the Metropolitan Area Planning Council. Um, over the years, I've uh, been involved in numerous master plan projects for uh, a variety of uh, cities and towns here in Massachusetts and elsewhere. Uh, it's essentially what I do. Um, and here in Arlington, I've been involved with the uh, various uh, versions of the open space plan. So um, well versed in the process, well versed in the issues here, and very uh, anxious to serve on a committee. Thank you for your willingness. Yes, Mr. Uh, Dunn. So I move approval, and the thing that what I was really happy to see in your resume and Mr. Klauska's resume is the, the what I'd call like the rubber meets the road aspects of this before, where you uh, where you both have experience uh, transferring what end up being some pretty high concepts into some actual into the actual changes and uh, reality of what's going to happen. And I think that experience is really important, and I thank you both for uh, stepping up on this one because that is a. a 
the master plan, as we know, has a lot of really good ideas. It has a few conflicting ideas, and it's going to be the what and how it's implemented is going to matter just as much as how it's written. Correct. Yeah. Thank you. Is there a second? Second. Further discussion? Yep, Ms. Mahan. I just want to say, um, along with Mr. Kalowskis, and I know you've already done and both have in your experience, which I think is extremely vital, uh, Mr. Byrne is our conduit to that committee, but mm -hmm. I see that you both have and will continue to um, impart on this committee um, experience with uh, designing and facilitating sort of workshops and presentation to the public and to the stakeholders. Uh, because the master plan really is sort of a vital, integral part of Arlington moving forward. And I'm, I'm really grateful that both you gentlemen, um, you've already begun that process in terms of the initial phases of this, but I think it's extremely vital as we move forward. I kind of see 10 subparts to it. Um, I, I just want to say thank you. A, thank you for that experience, and B, I'm certainly going to, th through Mr. Byrne, rely on both you gentlemen in terms of continuing on with um, the, the biggest thing is a lot of people fear change because they don't understand it, and it's how you get that message out and communicate it to them, and you both seem to have a strong suit um, in that background. Yeah, the messaging is vital. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Kowalski. Is Carol your wife? What? Is Carol your wife or no? Do you have a wife named Carol? Yes. Okay, I think I remember you from bracket school. Okay. Uh, I'm going to have to move that question out of order. It's not that the adds, microphone. That helps. That helps. Yeah. Well, is your wife Carol by any chance? No. I don't know. I haven't met his wife yet. <laughs> All those in favor of the motion by Mr. Dunn, please signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed. Thank you very much for your Thank willingness you. to serve. And the licenses and permits, a request for an all, all alcohol license update of a new officer director. Is anybody here from Not Your Average Joe? Yes, sir. I'm Joe McGuire, I'm an officer of Not Your Average Joe. Not the Joe, no. <laughs> <laughs> Just here in case there's a question. Any questions? No? Move approval. Move approval, second? Second. second. Sorry, it's just a formality. Thank Joe. you, yeah. No All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed. All meetings. <laughs> <laughs> citizens Open Forum. Has anybody signed in for Citizens Open Forum, Marie? Anybody here wishing to speak on the Citizens Open Forum? All right, I won't read all the rules about Citizens Open Forum then. Steve, did you? No, no one's on the sheet. Okay. No, Stu, no, okay. Uh, traffic rules and orders for approval. A section 19 ethics disclosure of Brian Hasbrook. Uh, Mr. Hein. Uh, as the board uh, likely knows, um, from time to time uh, we receive disclosures of various different kinds as may be recommended or required under the state ethics laws. In this case, there is a, uh, we received a section 19 ethics disclosure uh, from the gentleman who was appointed to the cemetery commission on the basis that he owns property abutting the cemetery. Uh, it's really for this board uh, to discuss and vote whether it has any concerns that that type of conflict, which I think is fair to be characterized as vague and attenuated at best, um, presents a conflict so substantial that it would impact his ability to um, undertake his duties with integrity. So if the board has any questions, I'm happy to answer them, but it's obviously for the board's uh, vote. I will also note that um, typically speaking, these uh, ethics disclosures would only require approval of their appointing authority, who's technically the town manager. But because you have confirming power and because uh, this was specifically sent to you, there's really no harm in A, uh, making sure that uh, his concerns are adequately addressed and protected, and also the State Ethics Commission if they gave him some advice. So and with that, I'll leave it to you, Mr. Chairman. His authority does not extend past the boundaries of the cemetery, correct? That's correct. Right. I have no objection, Mr. Dunn. Uh, I move we approve, a, we grant a general waiver. Mm -hmm. uh, I appreciate the fact that he's disclosing it, but I also don't think that it's an obstacle to him serving at all. Second. <coughs> Further discussion? Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Are, are we actually voting to have Adam granted? I think what you're voting for is, is essentially saying that you do not perceive the, any, conflict any conflict that would implicate okay. his duties, and then Adam can make his own can execute. Yeah. and can execute the form that was sent to us by the State Ethics Commission. Okay. 
Did you want to say anything? Nope. No, no, no. Okay. I agree. And uh, item 12 for approval the draft correspondence to Mass Housing regarding UGARS 40B. Mr. Hine. Mr. Chairman, um, as the board will recall, uh, this has taken a somewhat unorthodox turn insofar as the board provided a comment, uh, co its comments on the application of Arlington Land Realty back in August. It's atypical for a developer to submit a response to those comments, but in this case, uh, the board not only received a response, but supplemental filings that um, did address some of the technical deficiencies in the application that this board highlighted after its review of the original application and the uh, meeting that it held. Uh, however, based on this board's, uh, the balance of this board's comments over time, based on special counsel's review of the application, my review, um, the supplemental filings, my review of these supplemental filings, as well as consultation with appropriate town personnel, uh, special counsel John Whitten and I developed this response to try to encapsulate what we think remain the issues for this, for this board and highlight what this board feels the likely problems are with proceeding in this manner. In other words, that an original application was submitted, that application was not complete in many, many ways. As this board will recall, one of its major concerns expressed over and over again to the development team was that they felt they didn't have the information that it really needed to examine all of the issues thoroughly for what's a fragile and controversial site for this type of development. And the sort of continuing trickling in of information is not um, a fair way for this board to evaluate this project on its merits. Um, in addition to the board's overall feeling that there are a number of reasons that are likely beyond change that make the project inappropriate. So I drafted this with special counsel. I hope that you found it to encapsulate your feelings uh, appropriately. If there's any comments or changes that you want to make, um, I'd be happy to let them, uh, I'd be happy to make them. Uh, we're not on a specific timeline insofar as because we've departed from Mass Housing's traditional process, Mass Housing's perspective, I consulted with Jessica Malcolm of Mass Housing today uh, to confirm this. Mass Housing's perspective is that because uh, the site plan has not changed, this remains the same application. Uh, we can all quarrel with that, but their perspective is that this is one application that continues to have things filed on it and they welcome further comment from the selectmen if the selectmen so choose to provide it, but they're essentially not giving us a specific time frame because there is no typical process for this level of engagement, a sort of comment by the selection, then a response by the developer, then a reply by the selectmen is essentially where we are, but I think it still bears uh, leaving no stone unturned, it seems to be the sense that I got from this board about um, the way it wants to pursue its objections to the process and the substance of this application. I'd be happy to answer any questions if, if before any discussion. If I may ask one. Um, but your sense is not that we can hold a future a hearing to get public input on their new approach, right? My sense from Mass Housing is that they don't perceive um, the supplemental filings the same way that we do. That. Um, while I think we may fairly, in our minds, view it as something that changes a lot of the dimensions of the project and therefore make it difficult for us to evaluate it with the time that we have or think we may have, um, their viewpoint is, is that we provided our comments as the process allows and that there were meetings as the process allows, but everything that's basically come after that is not something that they would see as falling into their timeline. If they receive all the things that they want to receive tomorrow, they could um, make a determination on site approval tomorrow if they want. Um, it's really their own internal rules that guide most of this. My understanding is that there are at least two pieces of information that they are um, awaiting. One is uh, sufficient appraisals for the property and the second is um, sufficient uh, information with, resp with respect to site control. They did receive some information. They're also gonna release that to us when they're sure that they've got what they were looking for with respect to both appraisal and site approval. And I think one of the things that I've heard from the selectmen loud and clear, and that I hope this letter um, addresses, is that that's all well and fine, but from our perspective, that's not really fair because 
you're asking us again to take on faith the developer's representations, and it may well be that we don't get a meaningful opportunity to address any problems we see with the site control documents or the appraisals uh, before Mass Housing uh, makes a site approval determination. Thank you. Any other board members wish to? Mr. Dunn. Uh, I'll say that I'm large. I'm, I'm happy with the draft. Uh, I'll of course, entertain any other changes that other board members have, but in, I'm in general happy with it. I'll share the one thing that I'd sent privately to Doug with the uh, with the previous draft is that I'd asked that um, some of the language wasn't necessarily as uh, friendly towards mass housing as it, as it could have been in the, some of the earlier draft, and I think that I want us. Uh, we need something from them, and I want us to be as nice as possible to them. And so I think that the new draft reflects that uh, request from me. And so I'm, I'm happy to support it as written. Okay. All same, Mr. Kuhn? Um, I, I, I also I support, I support the draft. Um, I, I could quibble over a word or two, but it really is just, just tonal stuff. And I think that uh, the main issue that, that Dan addresses uh, has been um, taken care of here. So I'm happy to support it as well. Okay. Ms. Mann. Um, one procedural, um, I'm just trying to think in terms of process. Is this something we're going to be approving tonight? I, I mean, I do have one or two comments, or um, since it is draft, and given Mr. Dunn's comments and mine, is it something that um, we'll have final approval at the next meeting? And if that were the case, is that something you would advise against? I, I, the best answer I can give, uh, Mr. Mahan, is that we don't know when Mass Housing will decide the application is ripe for review. What we do know is that they don't consider this, uh, this set of comments to yes, be sir. required before they make a determination. Mm -hmm. So um, while they are not holding us to some specific deadline for any supplemental comments that we have, I can only say that I don't know when they'll decide, okay, it's, it's ripe, and that may mean that we'll lose an opportunity to further comment before they make the decision, and it may not. I, I, and unfortunately, I can't uh, give any more clarity than they've, they've given me. Okay, so in light of that, um, I feel confident if, if we vote something, vote something tonight, um, taking my um, colleagues' comments, I would just have two comments. Um, the first one is, um, through the chair, I would leave it to um, town council and the town manager and attorney Wooden. Is it worth noting that um, this is highly unusual that you go through the normal process and then you have the developer submit a rebuttal um, to that? Um, I don't know if it should be noted, if you all feel it's worthy, that just the, the mere fact that um, that case and point has happened, nothing that's ever happened with mass housing with any other um, project that I can deem um, that has come before it, is that something noteworthy that we should say just to the very fact that SEB Oak Tree um, took the unusual step? Um, if that's something you all feel noteworthy, if you could put that in there, because that really is unusual um, that they've done that. Um, I don't know if it's touched in there sort of in, in, ambiguously, um, but I, if, if you all feel it's already contained in there, um, I saw one sentence that might relate to that, but I would leave that to you all. But my second request that I would like to put in there, um, and I had a very brief conversation with the chairman, I did speak with um, the town manager and through the town manager to attorney Heim. Uh, I would like some sort of statement in there where it's sort of tantamount and um, in the beginning of SEB's uh, rebuttal submission that they reference uh, 2009 informal discussions between a previous town manager and a previous member of the board. And um, they cite the fact that there was a memor memorandum of understanding uh, that the town uh, agreed to, they, they took their language. Um, I would like something in there stated that yet while there were discussions back in 2009 with the previous town manager and um, member of the Board of Selectmen, no memorandum of understanding, no 40 unit development um, was ever considered and or voted upon by the then board in, in the conversations that we had in executive session. Just because they state that they were kind of saying that if the 2009 Board of Selectmen agreed to this memorandum of understanding and us to put 40 units out there, um, why are they complaining about the development now? So I just wanted to clarify um, 
that point that that um, it, it, in the language that um, you all feel is appropriate. I don't know if anybody has any questions on that. Um, it, it's stated in SEB's application. They stated as fact that there was a MOU, Memorandum of Understanding, 40 unit development, and none of those discussions, I was in executive session, were, were ever came before any of us. It was just, this is an initial conversation we're trying to have, none of that. So I just wanted to rebut the fact that there ever was an M MOU nor agreement um, in terms of any overdevelopment down there. May I? Yeah. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I, I, I think that both of those things uh, are easily integrated into, into this. I have confidence that I can insert the first just sort of comment. Um, perhaps we just sort of left it unsaid, but we can certainly make it explicitly clear that we find this highly unusual. Um, and then the second piece of it, uh, there is a discussion about the um, obviously are failed negotiations because the town didn't ultimately, there's no signed memorandum, the town didn't ultimately purchase the land because they still have it. Uh, but, but we can certainly highlight that, that not only did that not happen, but there was never any vote by the Board of Selectmen in executive session or otherwise mm -hmm. that approved this, uh, you know, what was essentially a series of negotiations and proposals that, that I can't say from my personal knowledge, but probably went back and forth from both sides. And, and I only want that point because they cited this fact yeah. and it never came to be. Yeah. Can, I, can I just make a point, Steve? Well, please. Actually, uh, you did. Well, I was, can I comment specifically to the point that Diane just made? Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, is that appropriate? That's what I was going to do. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, no, please. No, no, no. That's uh, smarter uh, than I am. Uh, Kevin, I'll, I'll defer to the chair simply he, because he's the chair. Uh, I hadn't caught on. I hadn't thought about that as deeply. And I, having Diane having brought it up, I completely agree with her. And just to help you, since you were there, um, there was not only was there no agreement. There's no draft circulated. I never. There's nothing. Like there is no paper. There's no conversation. I mean, were there conversations that were discussed between the then chair and someone from Mugar that were completely informal in nature? That she reported back to us in a three sentence. We talked and it went nowhere. Yes, but there was never anything that went any farther than that. I, may I, Mr. Chairman, I think to be precise, uh, just to be uh, to err on the side of caution, I think what is very clear is that there was never any approval or review of such a document by the Board of Selectmen. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because obviously somebody drew something up, but people draw proposals up all the time. I mean, but we never saw it. We never people, talked about it. Exactly. Never heard, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I agree with both points. And uh, the only thing I was going to, um, to her first point, just add, I mean, I think it's unfair that they get to resubmit something and we don't get a chance to have a public hearing on it. Uh, you know, so I mean, whether fairness should also be in that sentence or not. But the other thing I'd recommend is let's approve this tonight, mm -hmm. but certainly any of you who feel you need to read the final draft before it's sent out is, is okay with I don't feel I need to read it, but, but you know, I, I would imagine you might want to. Steve? Um, thanks, no, I, um I think I echo a lot of the sentiments that were said today. I obviously wasn't on the board back in 2009, but it seems like we um, certainly have that under control now. Um, and, and I agree with you, Kev. I, I think the process is, um, you know, is a bit unfair for the town. And um, we, I hope that we can uh, overcome this in the long run. So thank you. And of course, thanks to Doug and everyone for uh, coming up with this draft. I think it's excellent. So who's moving uh, approval on it? Move approval. Move approval. Second. 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 Further discussion? I'll, I'm just going to follow up with the town manager tomorrow, just in terms of my second point on the M MOU. And, you know, you can send it all out to us, but I'm prepared to let it. I know you're, you're, you're yeah, going to we'll encapsulate. Share the we'll share the language with you. Okay, that's fine. Uh, it, it's, sorry, Doug. I'm sorry, I I just, uh, how much, in your motion, Diane, how much latitude are you giving the chair in terms of changes? Like, I just want to, I, I would prefer to give the, the chair more latitude such that we, just as much as, as much as you're willing to give him, I'm willing to give him such that we can, he can get his signature on it. So if they detect. I, I would consider we're voting tonight the, the, the final document because I feel confident that the, through the okay. chair and the right. town manager can encapsulate. Thank you. And I'm just make, availing myself yep. of the opportunity if they have any questions to want to clarify. That's all. Right. all. So I'm voting no, final tonight Mr. through Hines, the chair. Thank you. So Mr. Chairman, uh, my understanding from Ms. Mahan's motion is that she is authorizing the chair and town council to make uh, minor 
changes to the letter to reflect the discussion here tonight and that the uh, letter can be signed by the chairman of the selectmen and sent off to Mass Housing as soon as possible. Yes. Okay, thank you. So, yes. uh, just before that vote, while this is not a hearing, it's a major issue to us, did anybody here in the audience wish to speak on this? Okay, you trust us, God bless you. All right, briefly, yes, Stu. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, you gotta come, sorry, yeah. Good evening, Stuart Kleinman, Precinct 1 uh, Town Meeting Member. Um, one is I want to thank the board because there was a hearing, as you know, that was well attended and people really were not in favor of this project at all. Um, I agree that it was disingenuous of the developer to submit another, to submit a response to your letter. So your, your work on this is extraordinary and I just hope it, I hope the work goes forward. I hope the project does not. Thank you. Thank you, Stu. Did you consider that a well-run meeting? I'm just curious. The, the hearing? Yeah, the hearing. Was, was that well-run? The hearing was terrific. Thank it you. It was well, well, no, no, was that's well it. That's all I needed. Thank <laughs> <you>. <laughs> 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 was there a second? Yeah. Yes, there was a second by Mr. Kuro, I Sorry. believe, right? So all those in favor of the motion by Mrs. Mahan to um, ask the town council and chair to make the amendments as recommended by this board uh, and then get this letter off as soon as possible. Please signify by saying aye. Aye. Okay, thank you. No, uh, unanimous, correct? Mm -hmm. All right, and correspondence received. Move receipt. Move receipt, is there a second? Second. second. Am I right, there is a study going on? It was already completed. I think we discussed this at length point. last year. No, I remember we voted to table it. Right. Uh, I'm delighted. No, I'm, we, well, our vote our vote to table failed, thankfully. And what we did is we sent it to the town manager for further discussion. Can we ask the town? Okay, yeah. sorry, Adam. Sure. Uh, so specifically in regards to the uh, uh, potential for a traffic signal at the intersection of Lake and the bike path, uh, where it went since the board's discussion was TAC did a series of traffic counts before school was out in the late spring, early summer. They then spent the summer analyzing those traffic counts. Uh, and I just got an update actually today that at their next meeting, or if not the next meeting, the one immediately following, that analysis will be brought to the meeting and discussed. And um, they assured me that the board would have another bite at it before the end of this calendar year to consider moving forward with a project. Okay. Thank you. So on the motion to receive, please say, uh, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed. New business. Boss. Well, I think that. Adam may want to talk about Saturday night. Do you want to? No, we can all talk I, about it. All right. Well, um, Saturday night, as most of you know, was the Fireman's annual banquet, and Adam and Diane and I attended. I must say that Bobby Jefferson and his committee did a great job. It was really well attended, and it was very emotional for a lot of the firemen that retired. It was a great night. That's it. Thank you. Mr. Hahn. No new business. Huh? Mr. Chapter Lane. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, so, as Marie said, though I, though I regretfully did not make it to Mr. Dunn's pig roast, I did get out to the firefighter uh, retiree banquet, and uh, just to echo those sentiments, it was really a great event. Uh, I was there with uh, uh, Vice Chair Mahan as well, and uh, it was nice to honor the retirees and also honor some of the active uh, employees and firefighters, and also see, uh, sadly, a couple firefighters get a farewell as they went on to Massport for opportunities to work as firefighters at Massport. So, uh, yes, it was a very nice event. Uh, two quick updates. Um, the deputy town manager search uh, to try to fill the shoes of Andrew uh, has officially uh, kicked off. We interviewed, um, well, I should start by saying we received 85 applications or resumes for the position. Wow. We then narrowed that down um, based on qualifications to uh, 21. And then the screening committee, the first round screening committee, which consists of myself, Karen Malloy, Stephen Gilligan, Diane, John uh, Diane Johnson, Rich Viscay, and Chief Bob Jefferson narrowed that down to nine, of which we've now interviewed those nine. Uh, and we're gonna move six of those forward for further consideration. Uh, and we're gonna bring Doug into the fold as well as Chief Ryan to really try to uh, you know, figure out who the right person is for the opportunity. Uh, I've told a few people, I think that we, we definitely have a number of very good candidates. Uh, I think there's a, a more than a handful of people who have demonstrated via their resume and in the interview that they have the uh, technical skills to do the job. Now it's just a matter of finding the right personality and fit for the organization. 
Uh, so that's, that's really the work we'll be doing when we go into the second round. Uh, moving on to that, another big vacancy, the planning director's position has been posted, and that posting will close on October 22nd, so I don't have a lot of news on that, but it has officially been posted. It's on the MMA site and some other sources, so I'll keep you abreast of those uh, updates as well. And that's all I have. Thank you. Mr. Byrne. Oh, thank you. You, uh, Adam, you certainly assembled um, <coughs> a fine lineup to big weed team. out the faint of heart the big team. position, <laughs> so thank you. Um, I, I do have uh, two things. One, um, last Sunday was the Council on Aging 5K, always a really fun event. Um, they, it just goes flawlessly, and it, it really was incredi incredibly well attended, and um, always happy to join in. I know uh, Ms. Kira was there as well, and um, we really had a great morning. Um, second of all, I would like to congratulate my cousin Kelly and her husband Brandon on having a new child last week, Colin Stephen, one of Arlington's uh, new residents. So Thanks. always very exciting. And um, yeah, that's about it. Thank you. Are you upset that Stephen was a middle name instead of the first? I was just happy to <laughs> be in thrown there. in there. Right. Right. <laughs> Dude, he got <laughs> billing. He got some billing. <laughs> Kevin Stephen might have been right. <laughs> yeah. Well, well they, they live in your former host, Kevin. Yes. <clears throat> oh, right, right. You told me that. Yes. Right. Ms. Mahan, new business. Um, just to sort of piggyback on the Saturday night event with the firefighters, I do want to bring um, to the board's attention, first of all, um, Lodgy and Chief Jefferson both cited the fact that <clears throat> they talked about a sort of a new era between the town of Arlington, the board of selectmen, um, and the local 1297 fire department. They wanted to really thank the uh, town manager and our colleague, Mr. Byrne. Um, they cited that they uh, went out one day to what I'm gonna call the smokehouse for some fire <laughs> training. Um, they were really impressed with that, um, as well as to them, it sort of um, embarked upon, I know, I can't remember, I think it was Lodgy that said this, um, that, you know, gone are the days of Don Marquis um, in terms of and I love Mr. Marquis for his um, uh, positives, but they did state that um, this, uh, they felt very thankful for the town manager as well as deputy town manager who also has firefighters, um, his dad and I think grandfather out in Winthrop um, were fire chief and or others, that they cited that the negotiations with our current town manager um, really took many steps forward in terms of um, feeling everybody was coming to the table, coming to the table with respect. Um, no animosity um, existed, C complete transparency, and they really felt like um, they were a partner in that. So they really wanted to credit, A, the negotiations that they have with our current town manager and how positive they went, um, as well as uh, those negotiations and um, the town manager, Mr. Byrne, um, embarking on that uh, fire exercise. Uh, basically in the sense they wanted to say that they definitely feel nothing that they're looking for, but um, they, they def definitely feel uh, respected um, by this Board of Selectmen and by the Town of Arlington each and every day um, in terms of the job duties that they perform. And it was something that they, they definitely wanted to highlight and they did. So I, I just wanted to let, um, and I told if they want me to hook Could up. I add to that just to yes. before you next? It, mm -hmm. It's amazing to me, Don Marquis, Four town managers ago, still a shadow was felt. <laughs> I know, it's it's true. It's true. It's true. You can <laughs> but what a credit to Mr. Chapdelaine that he's compared favorably over him. Well done. Sorry. Thank you, Mr. And, and then, um, he's probably watching this right now. He's going to come down <laughs> here and get up. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I'm going to drive home and be on the phone. Oh, are you? No. Um, and then the, the second is sort of ongoing um, in terms of, and I've had conversations with my colleagues as well as with the uh, town manager and the athletic director. I'm working with the um, school transportation supervisor to get the plans way back when, when we originally did the turf field, about the two possible um, reconfigurations, addressing the students' needs when they came in, in terms of talking about a need to park, um, as well as uh, getting a shed and some improvements out there. So I'm anticipating that I'm going to get hands on those plans, and it would be uh, the plans that were submitted, I think by VHB, but I could be wrong, um, for like, the Mill Street side, um, as well as the plan submitted for the practice field, school of court side. So um, what I plan on doing is, when I get my hands on that, I'm gonna afford that to the town manager and let him through capital planning chairman, whoever, sort of vet it and then um, 
put forth uh, one, either or none um, to this board, but then what I would do is um, through the chairman and town manager, make sure that um, if it is something, a concrete step that we can take that you could contact um, a, co a colleague on the school committee and superintendent just to say that this is something, you know, that, that could be done and this is something we should work in concert with if both um, entities agree that it's a way to go. But, but I do know that same group of students also presented to the school committee as they did to us. So that, that would be my plan, that once I get a hold of that, I'm going to give it to Adam and Kevin and sort of let you all run with it. And then the last thing is to, uh, fr uh, Friday night home game, Arlington football, 3-1. to one. Um, Just like uh, you could say about the Giants and some other football teams, they really could have been 4-0, four, four but they're definitely 3-1 and Reading is 4-0. If you can make it down to the lights down on the high school field on Friday night, um, it, it really is it's such a great experience, um, and I like sort of the cadre, the cross generations that, that come out down there, as well as all of our other sports up at the high school. If you can, you know, go on the school website. Um, I really think, just for me, in terms of when I need a sort of sanity uh, shut out, and, and nothing better than being at a high school youth sports game or in the spring bringing it a, a high school play that really kind of grounds me and gets back to where I am. So I just wanted to put a plug in for Arlington High Varsity and JV Sports. That's it. Thanks. Will your cheerleaders be there Friday night? They always are. Mr. Carroll. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, I want to just clarify, Mr. Burns said that we were both at the 5K, but he ran it. I <laughs> handed out one. <laughs> I did it in spirit, and um, and uh, it ran so well because the, the the friends have really built up such a volunteer base. And to your point about the, the high school sports teams, the cross country teams are down there, help helping out um, as well. Um, so it was really multi generational, and everybody hung out until the last man uh, came across the finish line. He was 88 years old, oh, and he finished the entire course. It's awesome. Fantastic. It's awesome. Um, I did also want to um, make note of a meeting that uh, Mr. Byrne and I and Mr. Chapdelaine and Ms. Kropelka um, attended. It was uh, here in the auditorium. It was almost as big as the Mugar hearing, almost as well run, Mr. Greeley. <laughs> I watch it from uh, home. Concerning the, um, the uh, enrollment pressures that the schools are um, feeling, I personally felt that it was really a case study of the way to roll out a, a really difficult, uh, long, complicated discussion, and the, the demographic presentation of you know, the pressures that the town is feeling really highlighted how we're such a victim of our own success in this regard, and, and beneficiaries of all of the, the youth and the, the young families who are moving in. But I think that um, as this discussion moves forward, there are going to be a lot of uh, uh, more difficult talks and uh, roles that, that many of the boards in town are going to have to play because uh, you know, a number of the scenarios um, potentially impact some very valued you know, tenants and, and, and organizations that provide community service here in town. Um, and uh, you know, it's just all is set against the picture of you know, all the other work that we know has to be done within the school system. So um, it was really well done um, as far as rolling it out, but I think that we're gonna probably be at the table and part of, part of the discussions going forward, for sure. Thank you, Mr. Dunn. Nothing. Um, oh, Mr. Greeley, one, yeah. sorry. Hey, Jimmy, have I already dealt with that side? <laughs> yeah. No. Did you see me with um, my chair? I just forgot that Joe, uh, when he was talking about the COA 5K, reminded me that um, it was Art Budnick's last one running the actual road race, I mean, um, you know, kind of organizing, and he said he can't wait to be uh, on the sidelines cheering everyone on next year. Yeah, he's done a great job. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry that I missed that and that I've been on the road for two weeks. I was in Dallas. It was 96 and 97. I complained about the heat. Last week I was in Phoenix. It was 107 degrees <laughs> uh, it, uh, Yikes. in Phoenix. but. Uh, but thank you all, and, and I'm leaving Saturday. I'll be away for a week. I'm taking a, a week's vacation for the first time in three years almost, so I need it, God knows. But uh, the town obviously runs well without me. Uh, so I spoke at the, um, uh, at the uh, Rotary Banquet, and, and Adam Chapdelaine and our previous town manager, Brian Sullivan, were there. 
And so in my speech, I said, we have the two best town managers in the history of the town of Arlington here with us tonight. Adam follows me and he says, I can't wait to call Don Marquis and tell him you said that. <laughs> <laughs> Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Good night, Arlington. Good night.